There is a reason why Australia exists, why New Zealand exists. There's a reason why globalization has literally taken over the planet, where you can be in Thailand or Cambodia and all the concessions are owned by Starbucks or, or McDonald's and so on and so forth. We know who this country is and we know the background of those who operate in the shadows of this country and we know their ability to send violent people across the world. What do you do to gain the attention of the government? It needs to be, it needs to be clear, it needs to be structured, it needs to be unequivocal. No, you didn't. That's all that means. If you say, if you say, and if you don't understand that this benefits you at the end of the day, it might not benefit you today. Yeah, but as and it was once said, a journey of a thousand steps, yeah, being, begins with one step. If, for example, we say, and I will repeat it again, because I'm going to keep repeating it, this is a government that doesn't listen. This is a government that uses predictive programming and certain predictive words. So they'll say, for example, austerity and you think oh my god oh my god yes we actually need it you ask most people what it means they don't they can tell you how it makes them feel they can't actually tell you what it is they don't understand for example when you say when the government says that we are not going to spend xyz because of this but at the same time they can create money out of thin air and call it quantitative easing and then charge you interest on money that they created out of thin air that's Who does that system. benefit? So this, this is their system. I'm telling you, they will never change unless you challenge the narrative that they have given out to the general public. And I'm saying that once you understand what the false narratives are, do you understand? Religious indoctrination, us fighting against each other. Do you understand? You know, like Muslims versus Christians, black versus white. That's These are false. Hold on. So it's not, it's it a is. false narrative. So let me just explain so, so, so I'm very clear. I'm going to tell you how to challenge it. If the government, with all that we've been speaking about over the years, here's a question. Have they listened? Well, let me ask you a question. When we, we went on the march, um, and remember, I'm not political. I just saw, oh, this doesn't look right. We went on the march when the government were, were, were attempting to go into another country and kill unpeople, the same way in which we are unpeople, the same way the victims in the Grenfell Tower were unpeople. They said they wanted to go in and slaughter innocent people because this is what they are. Unless you've been to these countries, and you know, I've just been lucky enough to come. I've traveled the entire Southeast Asia. And what has struck me most with all of my travels is the absolute normalcy of the people that you have met, not involved in politics. Do you understand? Not involved in any of that. Yet these people found them victims of a foreign policy that they had nothing to do with. Two million people march. Did the government listen to them? Well, hold on. There must then have been lobbyists who were lobbying for war. Did the government listen to them? Then that tells you, that tells you, absolutely. You've just made my point. But, but you say you know. That's what I was trying to say to you. How do you counter that when you don't you. have the money to? I'm going to tell you. You see your friend who just left. I'm going to tell That's you. That's what I was about to say to him. He said he went uh, American and all this. He did. He's you have American. money to do that. In my okay. area, they've closed everything. Yeah, listen. There's no community centers. There's no nothing. The youths on road, yeah. licking shots, yeah. getting that money. Yeah. And I don't care so, about it. Yeah, I know you don't instance. care about it. In the first instance, I don't. You know when you don't care about something, it so, grows. I said to you, it in grows, the first grows, instance. It grows. And you cannot put, put a cap on something. Put the emotion to one side a minute. Later. What does emotion do with emotion? It's, it's emotion because no, 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 you said no, no, I don't care. That's an emotional statement. No, 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 no. Listen, I said to you. How can you tell me I said to you, because I can only go by what you said. I've said to you that yeah. the way in which to deal with it, because most of these places where you say shut down and the youths are licking shot, yeah. they don't get to come to the head of the right, table right. based on their right. errant behavior. Right. No, don't you get it? No, no, don't you get it? There are youngsters, yeah, there are youngsters who are standing here right, right now, who are right now, who have tried to take the right path and tried to have aspiration. Why would I not listen to them first the rather than the win? youngsters that you're listening to? Why the reason they win? Listen. Let me just because explain. she didn't have enough people behind her, yeah? Because, let me just say so to you, you think you're going to have enough people so, behind you by the time what? Now you see, you misunderstand. By the time what? By the I time all these years of influence, some 
20 more other youths to do the same thing listen, they're doing. Listen, let me explain to you because you, do you, you want me the answer, though? I'm going to give you the answer. Right. Yeah? I'm going to give you the saying. answer. No, 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 you no, don't wait. understand. I listen to you for about 10 minutes. So you don't have to listen. It's right. my part. Know, so you I'm can speaking. go elsewhere. So I'm speaking. Yeah? So you so should the listen. The point is, is that I was having a right. private conversation with yeah, my friends. I know. And I you interrupted. came in. No, you I came said, in. can I ask you a question? Yeah, and you said yes. The point that I'm making, you've asked a question, I'm going to answer it not for your benefit, but for everybody else's benefit. You want to control everything. No, I don't. You don't have to. I'm saying to you, you don't have to listen. Your objective, yeah, is okay. But I don't see it in the longevity going to outweigh what these kids are doing. Because these kids are going to influence another 20 kids to do what they're doing. Who are you going to influence to do what you're you, doing? Let me tell you how it works, yeah? That's because you question. can't see it, because you can't see it, it doesn't mean okay, that it can't I be can't seen. See it. You can't see it. You've right. just said you can't see it. You understand? Right. I'm going to explain to you. you know what? I'm going to explain to you how this is done. To me that I don't know anything. Sir, no, put the emotion on one side. Kind of put, 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 trying to mentor put, kids to be better than what they are. But the yeah, first, no, first no, thing no. that you said... Let me explain something to you. And I'm going to be very clear. I'm going to be very clear because I don't like these emotional arguments. That's why he's saying to you. You keep saying it's never going to happen. If you have that attitude, it can't It's never going to happen. You have to live in the real world, yeah? Right. And I see these kids... Yeah, I don't see him talking about what You're he's talking at, about. From two different angles. Listen, this, 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 listen, this, this, listen, let me finish. I told you, I do mentoring. I go and speak yeah, to these same, kids that same, want to do it? this. But I'm telling you, the majority of them don't. They want to go out, show, get the roly. They want to go and party, pop bottles. They want to live the life like nines. They want to live the life like CBs. They don't care about what this guy's saying. But, but, you but, say that exactly. in my you area. Listen, right, right. So solutions. I'm saying, no, but if you're I'm, for a solution, right, wait, wait. I have to say right, I'm not yet. right. So I'm saying, my next like question yeah. to him is, I see what you're trying to do, the longevity of it. But I'm saying, these guys who are doing this are going to influence more people than what you can. Let me ask you a question. Yeah, you just said that you're 41. How long have you been? A, how long have you been mentoring kids? Let me just say this to you. I can remember 20 years ago. You understand that there were people with good intentions, good intentions, just like yourself, who were saying the same thing. Ten years before that, I met people who, just like yourself, had good intentions and they're doing the same thing. Thirty years later, absolute nothing has changed. In fact, listening to you, it's very clear that things have got worse yes. than they were. So you agree with that? Yes. On the basis then that both you and I agree that the situation cannot remain the same, that, that there has to be some changes yeah, in order so in 10 years from now, someone doesn't say they knew somebody who was like you because right. things, things have changed a bit. Now, I'm telling you that I said to you, and let me just qualify what I said. When I said I don't care about them, yeah. it's clear that it's, it's not a case that I don't care no, about I them. What it is, I'm saying in the first instance, this is far bigger than them, yeah? It's far bigger than you and I. I'm saying to you that when I, when I gave you, when I gave you, what well, I don't want to use the term options, that's a bad word down in Hyde Park at the moment, but when I, when I gave you, when I gave you the three options, and I said to you, I said to you that from my perspective, based entirely on what I have seen of this government, of the shadow government yeah. and those who are behind that shadow government. They are here, in essence, to keep poor people yeah, in their place. It's not just poor people. They're here to keep people who have a different view than them in their place. They are here to ensure that they will be able to take away anybody who will be able to challenge the status quo. And challenge the status quo, in effect, to change it from what it is into something which benefits the majority of people as opposed to the minority that it benefits at the moment. And no amount of diversion by what I call those architects of control. You know, because you know, every time a disaster happens, these are the things that happen. They'll send out Simon Cowell and they'll send out some C-list celebrities. We're going to make a record, yeah, you understand? Know. Then all of a sudden, you can go and use Chelsea Football Ground to do, um, to do a concert, do you understand? These are all architects of control and that they are here to pacify you. They work on behalf of a government. The government works on behalf of lobbyists. The lobbyists work on behalf of that secret elite that controls these governments, right? If we accept all of that, I am saying to you, how then do we get the ear of 
the government. Because look, the Irish Republican Army were smaller numbers. Practically, if you look at all of West, if you look at all of West Belfast, if you look at all these people just here around here, that was the entirety. Let me just finish it. Just finish it. this was the entirety of the the command and the operating structure of the IRA. I'm not advocating for the IRA. I'm merely looking at this from a, from, a, from a sociological point of view and a political point of view. Yet they were able to bring the government to their knees. They had to release people from prison. You understand? They had to lobby the queen. They had to lobby the queen to change, yeah, to change, to change law. Imagine that. And then those who had killed, killed, you know, Prince Charles's favourite uncle, Lord Mountbatten, they were there in the palace, shaking hands with Prince Charles. Hear how you change it. Bearing in mind, bearing in mind that power concedes nothing without a relevant demand. Challenge their money. I'm going to tell you now, give me 20 more seconds and I'll stop. Challenge their money. Look at the bank take down a bank, start a social media campaign and say, well, I'm going to say it again for those who didn't hear, start a social media campaign. We're taking down Barclays, nobody. Speak to your parents, speak to your brethren, speak to your friends, take down a bank. We're no longer banking with you because we know that you and your lobbyists have the ear of the government. Speak to your mother, speak to your father, yourselves. We no longer go to Sainsbury's cause a run on their share price. They'll come back and tell you, well, you don't understand. If you cause a run on the share price, it's going to affect pension. We don't care. We don't care. We're here. We're here to get your ear. Speak to the youngsters. Say to the youngsters, we want to take out Nike. You understand? We're not purchasing their stuff. So the lobbyists, so the lobbyists, remember, this is not change you're going to see immediately. It doesn't work like that. But No, no, but I'm saying to you, imagine you start that. Because listen, nobody has a magic wand. The kids that you're speaking about in your position, even if, do you realize this? I'm give you an oh, let me just say one little thing. If, do you know, if this man today, if this man today came up and he said, Big Bro, I'm going to give you 100 million. And I said, what am I supposed to do with 100 million? I want to, I want to disperse it into Newham amongst the worst of the youngsters that you've got. Do you know, those youngsters' minds have gone so far that if you went back next week, they'd have convertible Bentleys and Rollies. Yeah, the money would be gone. You understand? Because it's their minds, it's their minds which are fertile, which have been taken over. Challenge the government. Because you've got the same problem I've got. Okay. Right. You've got it on a bigger scale because you're challenging the government because you've got more money, more influence, and more everything than you've got. Yeah. Yeah. So by the time you try and get to wherever you're going to get to, yeah. they're going to influence billions and millions of more people than you can mm. because they control the media, they control the music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The influence you're talking about is the media, and I see the change through the election today. What we had just a little while ago. Mm. The youngsters are the ones that only can change this, but their influence is not with what you're saying. Right, it and I know you matter. say, and I know you say, does don't care. It matters. It doesn't because matter in the first Where are you going to get your numbers from then? Let me tell you the reason. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. You spoke for I'll tell you. Yeah, but you, you answer in a minute. You, you spoke for a long time. So this you is, keep saying that. Yeah, but you this is like another thing what I can't see. So who are you speaking to? The older people like us? No, I'm not speaking to you. So then, this is what I'm saying. The kids that I see and speak to don't care about the things that you're talking about right now. Lobbying banks. You think they got time for I didn't that? Say lobbying I'm, banks. All right, I lobbying the government to counts. lobby the banks. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Right. People join the gym. How long do they stay at the gym? Some people don't stay there all the time. Some people do. This is the same thing you're going to get with what you're doing. No, won't. Well, I'm telling you. Let me just ask you. What's going to be the big can change? Let me show you something, young man. How old are you? Pardon? How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Are you in a gang? Are you in a gang? Are you in a gang? Like are you in a gang? in a gang? No, no. Hold on. I'm asking you. Are you in a gang? That's what no I'm one's going to say they're in a gang well, no, here. Some kids would say they're in a gang. Some kids would say. I'm them telling kids you, are not here. none of these you know youngsters them kids are not right, here. So they're not here. Right, right. so why, why are they going to be here? Why are they not here? They're making money. Okay, so why are these guys here? You know what I mean? Come on, you're asking me stupid hold questions, hold on, hold on, bro. I'm, I'm, they're I'm, making I'm, money on roofs, fam. That that's why they're not here. Seriously. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Right. I'm astounded. You heard my... He doesn't hear. Right, yeah. Right. They, yeah, yeah, they will say they was in a gang. But the reason why you're not going to say you're in a gang, because obviously they're not here, they're making money, innit? They're going to be on road. You can't 
That's, that's circular what do you mean? That's circular logic. He's got, he's got in a gang, all right, all right, and then you're going to say, but he wouldn't tell you if he was in a gang. That's circular logic. All right, all right, all right. I'll take that back. Like you're but, to push to be but, in a gang. No, I'm not trying to push no one to be in a gang. I would why, never why, do why that. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, you're not going to get that here because then people ain't going to be here. They're the ones you need to influence. Yeah, these guys can say they're doing well, they're doing this. They they're they're not going to have an influence on the that. people. Sorry, sir, they didn't say right, that. All I'm I asked saying them, that. I'm just, were they in a gang? Right, we don't know what right, their background right. is. I'm saying, said, no, I'm saying, not. I'm saying, if they're doing well, they're not going to be with the ones who are not doing well. We don't know. And they're not going to have an influence so on them. Let me just say this to you. Sometimes you equate doing well with finance. Oh, right. Sometimes right. people have. Sometimes right. people are underpinned right. by morality. You know what circles are? Yeah, people are underpinned circles. by morality. Yeah? yeah. Right. The people I'm talking about are the ones that carry knives. They don't care about stabbing you. These people are not like I that. I hate this kind of stuff. Yeah, I don't know them, but I'm Seriously, speculating really they're not true. like that. I'm talking about these people you need to change, yeah? These people you need to bring to the table. How are you going to do that? How are you that is my do question. It? How are you going to do it? You work with them. First question. You work with them. What, what are you my doing? First question. You How work are we with stop them. The influence of music. Sir, and influencing I'm asking. Well, you tell me because you work with, with them. Listen, I'm trying to. I'm trying to combat it with hey, bro. sports. Bro. I'm bro. trying to combat bro. it with bro. Bro. And, and, and bro. what's? Can, we ask, can I ask one question? Yeah, go on, go ahead, You're bro. talking about the artists, yeah? How are we going to get the youth to stop being the artists? Can you tell me how many conscious UK artists CDs that you own? I wouldn't even know. But I know how the, many there ain't. That's what I'm saying. So I know how many there ain't. That's, that's why and home, as you bro. know, wait, 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 you, you wait, wait, wait. Models. You know negative sales, innit? Yeah. More than positive. Yeah. Why ain't common out there like no, everyone else? I'm saying that the he's way positive, innit? No, no, but he's positive, innit? No, before you judge the music, is he you, positive? I'm saying common. Is common a positive? You could perceive artist. him as positive. Mate. Is he mainstream? Yeah, you could perceive him as mainstream. Bruv, come on, stop, stop lying. Stop lying, bruv. He's more mainstream than any mainstream artist. Is he current now? What's, is he current what's, now? What's current? Bruv, you know what I'm talking current, about. Current what, Drake? You say, All right. what, is so what are the kids listening to? Are they listening to Common? Or are they listening to Nines? There are kids that are listening to Common. The people bro. who are current now. That's what my let's, point is. Let's get to reality, my main, innit? Point, my, let's get to reality, My main innit? point is, yeah, yeah that it's hard for you to talk about what the youth are listening to you if you're not one of the people that's supporting the people that are making the other sort of music. Because there's a lot of conscious yeah. artists and people want to say, uh, oh, the youth are listening to Nines, but you don't support the ones who are doing you, the other things. You can't say that. I'm saying, I've you asked you. You. That's Say the first that. question I asked you. you how many CDs do you support. own? You don't know. I said how many right, conscious listen, listen, artists listen, listen, listen. CDs listen, listen. that you're listen. talking about that the youth should be listening right. to do you own? Right. Before they're wait, gonna go wait, and buy it, wait, they've got to know that you buy it. Now you're getting emotional. But let me just get to you. No, right, 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 you're my right. Cool. I work with artists <laughs> like Jammer. Yeah. You know Jammer is? I know Jammer, yeah? I work with Jammer. Alright, oh, so yeah, I work with artists like Skepta. Yeah. Yeah. Skepta, we try and get them yeah, in yeah. so people can see that this is a way forward, this is constructive, this is how you get to places. Yeah, yeah? that's all good. But you're saying to these me these people ain't positive. Well, you know? Yeah, but, Thank you. but this is the thing. Thank you. Work, if you know anything thing. about right. the music industry, is it fake? It is. It's 100% fake. So when you look at the music industry, you can pretend to be someone you are, but in the back you're doing something else. Yeah, but I'm saying that if I'm not supporting the wait, wait, that wait, made wait. The reason why I say this, the reason why I say this, the reason why I say this, because negativity sells. The guy saying I'll shoot you in the face, the guy saying I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll sell this, I sell that, I trap this, I trap that. They're talking about their surroundings. Who are people? Go and look at the views, bro. Go online, you bro, see the views, they're insane. Go to their community. You think there, this are, is, you think there are more negative right. young people bro. than there are positive? Just right. No, but bro, I couldn't, I couldn't say, I couldn't say, because I, I, I don't say. know if you've got to go I can to the say. community and change their surroundings. The great, the great, majority, of great majority of youngsters, the great majority of youngsters are moral, the great majority of youngsters are moral, and the great majority of the youngsters are decent. Yeah? yeah but that's new yeah, can I just say know, to you? But, can but I just there's say more to guys in Newham. <laughs> I, I know G's in Newham that I'm on. You understand know. my brother Nat, Natty Asher? Asher yeah. from, from Newham, Plasto. Natty, yeah. he's yeah. a conscious artist. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't know about him. Right, right. All you've concentrated on is the negative, and now you're in two bits involved in the negative. Why don't I know because that's what you're concentrating on. Because he doesn't have the publicity. No, because you're not looking out for him. You don't get onto your view. You don't go and try and find these people. Do you know what I know about publicity? Can I just say to you very quickly? Because this is what we were talking about. We were speaking about, we were essentially speaking about the situation that presented itself at Grenfell Tower. Yeah, this is what we were speaking about. Whilst what this man is speaking about might have some credence, 
for the job that he does. I'm saying that this is a this is a far wider picture yeah. than what we're speaking about. This is this is this is this is a far wider picture than what we're speaking about. Let me tell you what we're very clear about. We are clear that this is a government that does not care about poor people. I think everybody is very clear about what this government stands for. Yeah? This government this government does not stand for poor people. This government, we're very clear, stands and acts on behalf of the very wealthy. This is who they act on. This government, this government is happy to burden youngsters with debt for 20 years, 20, 25 years. They're happy to do so. Who benefits from that? Yeah. Many Tory MPs, you understand, who are who are directors, who are directors of companies. We know over 70 odd Tory MPs are landowners. You understand, own great swathes of land in this country. I'm asking you, why do the Tory Party not care? And for you know, let's not be hypocrites. The Liberal Democrats kept them in power during the last election. They didn't seem to care of either. They said they were not going to raise. They were going to abolish um, uh, tuition fees. They got into power. They decided. They decided to keep it as it is, and in fact, raise these fees. How then do you get the government to listen? Yeah, to to gain some traction with the government. Now look, I've only proposed three things. Yeah, three things. The reason why I propose these three things is because I know what this government and those who are behind the government are capable of. If we were to go today to physical confrontation with this government, we know that this government and those who control the government have a high propensity towards violence towards those who are not followers of the narrative that they have created. We know that they will unleash the maniacal forces of some within the Metropolitan Police and now we have elements of the SAS on our streets in London. We know just through looking at past history that one of the things that this country is very good at, one of the reasons why they controlled four-fifths of this planet at one stage, is that they are very good at taking small groups of exceedingly violent men and putting these violent men all over the planet. There is a reason why you have the British West Indies, the French West Indies, the Dutch West Indies, the, these, type, these, these places. There is a reason why. There is a reason why Australia exists, why New Zealand exists. There's a reason why globalization has literally taken over the planet where you can be in Thailand or Cambodia and all the concessions are owned by Starbucks or, or McDonald's and so on and so forth. We know who this country is and we know the background of those who operate in the shadows of this country and we know their ability to send violent people across the world. If they would do this across the world, irrespective of law, what do you think they will do to those of us who are in this country who wishes to challenge the status quo? You can feel that in yourself. What I would say is this, we want an engagement with them in the first instance, you don't want war with the government because you know that this government will use the mainstream media and everybody else to create a narrative whereby stupid people will call for revolutionaries destruction in this country, even though the revolutionaries are looking to also free you from the confines of a government that is totally amoral, completely amoral. This is a government who can see um, over five to six hundred people, probably more, affected in a fire in the richest borough, um, perhaps in Europe, and the government can say, we'll give you five million um, in that borough, five million which can just about buy, according to rightmove.co.uk, can barely buy you a two-bedroom two -bedroom apartment in North Kensington. It sounds funny, but it's actually, it's, it's actually the truth. So how then do we get this government to listen to us? The government will not listen to us primarily because under this so-called democratic system, the government really doesn't have to listen to us. It gives the impression once every five years that it listens, but in reality, it doesn't listen to us. So how in the first instance do you make them listen? 
we know the government won't listen. So what you do, you go after those who control the government. We know that corporations and major finance controls the government. We know that as a statement of, of, of absolute fact. They need to be challenged. So, I repeat again, take down one of their banks. We don't bank with them, yeah? Don't shop at one of their supermarkets. Get the youngsters to boycott one of their major sports retailers like Nike. That alone will send shockwaves around the world. Many people that have a very parochial lock on what the world is, they don't understand now that the world is interconnected from the point of view that what starts, what starts in the UK yeah, actually has a position on everybody outside of the UK. You speak to anybody in the music industry, they'll say that if a record breaks in the UK, the chances are it will break it will break in, uh, in, 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 in France, it will break in Holland, it will break in Germany, it will break all over. It's the same thing with political thought. It's the same thing with the style and so on and so forth that comes out from this country. And it works also politically. If we say that we're no longer shopping at Sainsbury's, we're no longer buying Nike, this will go around the world very, very quickly. And the one thing that they do not want they do not want the example of a good idea to gain any kind of traction at all because it will force them to start to listen to the people who are fed up of them. The people in the Grenfell Tower have already died and so demands should be made. You know, it cannot just be emotion. There are things that which should be said. The five million that you've offered is nowhere near enough if you're talking about rehousing people. It's already raised about two and a half million well, well, just from exactly donations. Right. You know? Yeah, but the, the, the thing is, where was the Red Cross? Where was everybody else? None of them were there. It was ordinary people. It was ordinary people who came to the aid of the victims of that disaster. What the government should have done, the government should have, the government should have said that what we're going to do, we're going to put a minimum 50 million aside. We are going to ensure that the funerals are paid for. We're going to ensure that those who put that building in that particular position, that the directors, the directors, we will look at them and be seeking to bring corporate manslaughter charges against them. We should be asking the government to contact the banks to ensure that people who have lost all of their goods yeah, in terms of banking and so on and so forth, banks should actually be presented down near that area. Yeah, you get a desk and you put it down so people can go, uh, go to that particular part in terms of bank, whether it's passports or so on. What the government has done in the first instance is nothing. The, the Kensington Council have done nothing. There is a searing arrogance that runs through the leadership of Kensington Council as if, how dare you challenge us? Well, we've seen that they're the emperor without any clothes. This is the reason why the people went into Kensington, Kensington Town Hall, and they couldn't stop them. At any other time, they would have called the police and they would have called their, their security guards and you wouldn't have been able to get in. But you had the groundswell of truly angry people who were angry for a very good reason and they couldn't stop them. I'm saying that people should not take the metaphorical foot off of the neck of the local council or the government. People have got to keep the pressure up because if anything, what this has taught us in this country is that we are not all equal. And for anybody who believes that we are equal, I would say this to you. Buckingham Palace at this moment is going through a 380 million refurbishment. We know that the cladding, we know that the cladding that was on this building, it was 23 pounds a square meters. For an extra two pounds to, um, to fireproof, you could have bought fireproof tiles for 25 pounds a square meters. This saved, I think it was 6,196 pounds. That's what it saved. It saved. Let me ask you the question. If we are all equal and they are spending 380 odd million on Buckingham Palace, and this is an anti the Queen, I'm one of them very odd people who actually believe in the idea of a monarchy, but not for the reasons that you think, not for the reasons that you think. But if you believe that we are all equal, let me ask you a question that you answer yourself. No, I'm speaking generally. Yeah? Just for the camera. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I would ask you, I would ask you, do you believe that...
in the equality of all human beings. And if you do, I'm asking you, with the renovations which are taking place in Buckingham Palace at the moment, do you think, do you think that saving a paltry figure of 6,000 or 6,000 a quarter, yeah, for a paltry figure of 6,000 pounds, but they wouldn't fireproof, that they wouldn't fireproof Buckingham Palace. Of course, some of you will laugh, that's ridiculous. And that's exactly my point. It is ridiculous. But if you have a group of people who are on people, people you consider not worthy, people who are poor, remember, they're not on any of these people. The are poor because what the corporations okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. they have sucked up uh, yeah, I see, all I see, the money from the economy yeah. and they now control the economies with the acquisitions of well, politicians got back around to it as well, so you are talking about youth for a minute so you have came back around right to it as well yeah, yeah, yeah. intelligent people in London they can hear you anywhere to live they can hear you afford decent fruits and then at the end of it the narrative that has been created by the media is so powerful that when the government through us gives these people some who are unemployed a measly 75 pounds for every couple of weeks we turn around to these people and say that they're disgusted and they're scroungers and then you think that you've got a sane mind do you understand you think that's your thoughts or do you think that those thoughts have been given to you those thoughts have been given to you those are not your thoughts because we now sit in the fourth or fifth richest country on the planet. Let me ask you something. What does that mean to the survivors of the Grand Hotel? Right now, it means very, very little. When you say, well, you know, we might have a 1% more population, we understand the financial ramifications of that, but what about the people who are not invested in the system for no fault of their own? This government makes clear that some of us are worthy and some of us are not worthy. Some of us are people, and like George Orwell said, some of us are unpeople. I think it's time for the unpeople to start raising their voices, not in an emotional way, but start to ask piercing questions and start taking piercing action against a government that is indifferent to us all. That's my view. I don't believe any of that shit. I don't believe any of that shit. I don't believe any of that shit.